What is going on, Notre Dame fans? Mike Singer and Tim Hyde from Blue and Gold with news of a new commitment for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. How about this one? Six one and a half, three 325 pounds going into his senior year of high school. Sean Civilano, uh, originally from Canada, I believe Winnipeg, um, currently plays his high school ball at Clearwater Academy International in the Sunshine State, picking Notre Dame over his other finalists, Ohio State, Auburn, and Miami. Not a bad group of Final Four schools, especially considering he's a three-star prospect. The on three industry ranking, a weighted um, industry average, um, has him as a number 879 prospect, number 82 defense alignment, and the number 121 overall player in the state of Florida. is <laughs> It's a Notre Dame, but again, uh, his, offer list, his offer list tells a different story. But what does the tape say, Tim? Hi, let's pop it on. Uh, when you watch this big, beefy interior defense alignment, what do you see? That, a, a true A-gap football player, a guy that's going to just, you know, I like this nose guard that goes B to B. You're not going to move any any farther outside those couple yards there. Uh, a true interior guy, interior meaning A-gap, a plugger. Guy's going to force you to have to double him because he's 325 pounds and he's going to just rip straight through it in, uh, in one of the gaps. Hopefully. Hopefully, as he grows and develops, he turns into that a dominant type of a you know nose guard to where you have to double him and you get one on one uh, blocking on the edges. So that's the ultimate goal when you get guys his size. So, and speaking of that, Notre Dame hasn't recruited some big three hundred true nose of, of the sense, a true nose guard in a, in quite a long time. You know, we get all these hybrids and we're going to move them inside. These guys, no, Sean's coming. You're an A gap guy. Go get with Mr. Bayless. Get yourself down to about 312 and then uh, enjoy playing football for Notre Dame. So that's the type of guy I see him here on his film. So, what, you, Tim, do you like him as like a Viper? Maybe, you know, play some Rover? No. Oh, How man. about? Yeah. No hybrid no. here. Nose tackle. I yes. A lot of time when I'll talk to, I, I've mentioned this before on our YouTube channel, like a lot of times, like defensive linemen they want to play on the edge. Like they don't, if you're like a three or five tech hybrid, they want to play five. They want to play, you know, the seven. They want to play the wide nine. When I talked to Sean, uh, you know, a, a couple days before his, a few days before his commitment, he announced it. And I got to do an interview with him about him picking the fighting Irish. And I said, projection, like, are you a nose tackle all the way? He said, yes, I am a nose tackle. That's, that's good to hear. Like this guy, there's no three tech, five tech. He's 325 pounds. That's what no, I, I, this, this guy's a nose tackle, Tim. Oh, without a doubt. It's like offensive line recruit. Notre Dame brings in five offensive tackles. They all think they're going to be the next Notre Dame tackle. And the next thing you know, one of them is playing center. So, yeah, this thing is true nose. You know what? He's really quick. You know, he's obviously compact, powerful in the A-gap. You know, has some good hands. He likes to swim a lot, which is always – I'm not a big fan of the swim, especially when you're, you know, not as tall – is is he isn't um so i think he's going to be just a straight bull rush interior push the pocket get that push up the gut and uh create one-on-one -on -one edge rush uh you know with these guys at notre dame's recruiting so he's a big get and i know you know you've mentioned how they want a true nose notre dame has loaded up with a bunch of ends the last couple of years and really the only interior guy devin houston and i mean he played a lot of dn yeah in high school so this is a true inside guy. Go enjoy it. You're going to be in the pit your whole entire time at Notre Dame. Go have fun. And how about this? I did mention he's from Canada. Notre Dame. And I talked to, to Sean about this. I was that like, effort there. Is that something that you're aware of? Like Notre Dame's history in recruiting Canada. It's like, so yeah, on my visit in March, I mean, Armel Mookum, yep. Devin Houston. I mean, there's even a guy a few years ago that played in Notre Dame, Chase Claypool. And, you know, you can see what he's doing in the NFL. He's from Canada. Uh, I mean, the, the it's a pretty good list of Notre Dame in, in Canada. I wish, you know, the late, great Luce Mochi were here with us so we could talk about yeah. this. Uh, I would definitely have him on this video rather than you, Tim. But, uh, you know, and, but seriously, like, I think that's a pretty cool thing that Notre Dame has going on. Like, the, Canada pipeline for Notre Dame, it's, it's real. It's never going to be more than a couple guys a cycle. Sure. It was two in the 2023 cycle and got a, again a couple good ones and, and some four star prospects. But uh, yeah, Tim, do you like a, that, a Notre Dame going up there? Yeah, well, you know, that's what I was going to say. So that tells you right there, he's obviously new. So he's extremely raw. He's still learning. 
you know, um, you know, as far as learning, you know, the American football, yeah, life, sure. so to speak, you know, obviously they throw them down in Florida, you know, different brand of football going against Florida guys and up in Canada. So he's learning on the run. And uh, the one, you know, and one thing you, he gives amazing effort in his highlight film. That's one thing you do see is the, the effort that he's going to get. And obviously the fundamentals are going to come, you know, he plays a little high right there, belly bops a guy, but he's strong enough to get off. All those things are going to come. The more you watch, you could, you know, break a few things down, but that's, but that's with all kinds of football players. He looks very strong, unbelievable uh, swarm chase on some of these plays. So it's a good get, especially for a nose guard. I mean, we're, I mean, once again, we're just talking about a nose guard. We're not talking about any other position here for Notre Dame in the future, but an a gap football player and big get unbelievable offer list. You know, if, if teams have blown up on him, obviously in the last couple months. So Pretty big upset. And once again, it's a Florida guy, Mike. Yeah. Notre Dame hasn't gotten a lot of the, the Florida guys. So it's nice to go down to Florida and, and peel one away out there. Yeah. I'm not, I honestly do not know what the, the fan base reaction is. I'll find out when we post this video and we get the YouTube comments. Is it going to be Fighting Irish fans upset about a three star? But it's like, or is it going to be Fighting Irish fans upset about the rankings? Because look at this kid's offer list. He should be ranked higher. I don't know. I don't know. This is one of those that I love seeing the reactions to. And then you'll every once in a while have the highly ranked kid who doesn't have a robust offer list. Well, I sometimes I too. would say off of that, Mike, is you know, for you know, the fans and everyone that's that's watching this and you know, we'll we'll chat and we'll chat with everyone is it's 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 him and Owen Wafel. It's one for one, basically. So it's not like they lost a a guy everyone in America is on a top fifty nose guard. You know, it's 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 him, it's Owen yeah. Wafel. It's it's a nose guard. It's a guy Notre Dame's projected. Notre Dame's getting a bunch of DNs really the last couple of classes. When you look at the guys they're doing, they got Tyson Ford, who was a top 100 defensive end. What do they do? They they put him on the feeding tube and Coach Bayless's, and he's 295 playing yeah. D tackle. So this is a truer guy where Wayful was more of a projection. We're going to see him down the road play interior. This is the first true nose guard that they've had in quite some time, probably since what Aiden. K and I am. Yeah. Uh, 2020, I would say, as far as a big 300 pounder coming to Notre Dame ready to roll. Yeah, it's a good point. While there's some nuance to it, essentially, Notre Dame had Owen Wafel committed. He's not committed. This is the replacement. Like yeah. Wafel was maybe a three tech, maybe a one kind of that hybrid guy. While th those hybrids are nice, you can play them different spots. Sometimes you just need that true big offense, your defensive tackle, yeah. nose tackle. Um, and that's Sean Cipollano. So just real quick, Tim, before we wrap up the video, uh, an outlook on the defensive line board. So this is your four commitments. You have uh, Sean Cipollano. You got Logan Thomas, one of Notre Dame's highest ranked commits. On three, has him ranked the highest uh, number uh, 100 overall, excuse me, 101 overall player, number nine, Edge. Uh, Bryce Young, 6'6", 245. He looks like a five tech. Um, number 327 overall per the on three industry ranking, number 22, Edge. I always get told that on three has ranks Notre Dame guys the lowest, but there it is. Logan Thomas, highest ranked. Bryce Young, highest ranked. Uh, and, and Cole Mullins, not so much. But number 608 uh, overall player nationally, number six, listed as a linebacker. He's going to be a Viper for um, the fighting guy. Ranked as a three star across the board, though. So you have those four committed. From here on out, you're swinging for the fences if it's a fifth. And right now it looks like Justin Scott, the five-star interior player, who's you know probably knows at the next level as well, but more that um, athletic knows who you could see as a three tech at times. Uh, and then Elijah Russian, the, the, another five-star guy out of, uh, you know, South Point, South Point Catholic uh, in Tucson, Arizona. So thoughts on defensive line recruiting in general, Tim? Well, yeah. I mean, then you obviously you have three from last year that were in the national top 250, you know, with Troy Vernon and, uh, and Devin Houston. Houston. So you have those guys, you know, showing up this summer. So to get rolling in Armel Mukum, who is an extremely talented young man that they're going to get. So, so far you're looking at, you got your true Viper and Logan Thomas, your true rush end, your stand up Viper, you know, Bryce Young, strong side DN, big Sean inside nose gapper. And then you got Cole Mullins, a guy you watch his film. He plays Mike, he plays stand up three, you know, three point stance comes from big time football out of, you know, Georgia and you take a flyer on him and that's really what they're doing. And he's a guy who's physical point of attack, really strong. I, 
I've always figured he's going to be, I mean, I think he was listed at six, four and a half on his visit. So you got a guy who could be a six, five. I'm going to be surprised if he's 275 someday, seriously. And he's just going to be a strong side end. And then your comment, Mike, swing for the fences. You're going for two of the premier five stars, both Catholic league football players, South Point Catholic and two South yeah, Point. It's great high school football, uh, South Point plays. And obviously Justin Scott down the road there in Chicago in the Catholic League. So you get one of these two, outstanding. You get two of these. I mean, you, I mean, if you get two of these, Mike, you got Notre Dame could eat could potentially land a top five class. You know, with a lot of these guys, they could really skyrocket that. And more importantly, you put the country on notice. If Marcus Freeman can pull these two guys out of, you know, Tucson and Chicago. I think that'd be massive, massive recruiting news come signing day. All right, so there you have it, Sean Cevillano committing to Notre Dame. Irish are at four defensive line commits in the 2024 class and, and getting close to 20 commitments um, right as we really dive into official visit season in June. Folks, please do hit that thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. Go to blueandgold.com for much more coverage on this commitment and so much more on your Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Appreciate you, folks, and as always, we will catch you next time.